because Kyle Anger is out. I'm sure he didn't get the assistance that the juvenile system would have provided. Kyle Langer, the oldest of five boys charged in the deadly I-75 Clio rock throwing case, will be released on parole this week. That's according to sources from attorney Mike Manley. Anger was convicted of throwing the rock that killed 32-year-old Kenneth White in 2017. The other teens charged in the case, Mark Sikelski, McCaden Payne, Trevor Gray, and Alexander Miller, are still waiting for their sentences. Three of them are still in jail. Manley represents Payne and says he's waiting on a court of appeals decision as to whether the rest of the teens can be sentenced as juveniles. Originally, they were all set to be sentenced as adults. Manley doesn't believe prison was the answer. Because the whole statute is what is the best sentence for a child and what is the best sentence for the community? And our argument was when you send a child in their formidable years to learn their habits in a state prison, they don't come back better. Manley says they've been waiting on a decision since October. He says the juvenile system would be the better option for the teens because it provides resources to help them reform. He doesn't believe prison provides the best help for people that will re-enter society. Manley says he's hopeful the decision will be made soon. These kids are worth saving and I'm gonna do everything in my power to save them and make them viable, productive members of our community. Anger will be a convicted murderer the rest of his life. If the rest of the accused rock throwers are charged as juveniles, those sentences will not carry the same felony penalties. In Flint, Rachel McCreary, WNEM, TV5.